We're about to kick off our third quarter final of the night. The one the Chileshi in the white, Joel Ascot in the black, wearing their nice new branded t-shirts. Cover star sponsor on the back, Squash Nation on the shoulder. Guys really fired up for this match, played a lot lately. Um, still hungry for wins and to prove a point. So looking forward to a good match, should be pretty clean. Generally these guys train and hit a lot together, so we're expecting them to know each other's games and play pretty tidily. Lime is actually a very good mover, generally goes around his opponent, um, doesn't play the men much of it all, so expecting a nice clean match. We'll be interested to see if Joel has the belief to win. Um, can he overcome a run of losses to Luamba? He's been working hard on his game, all aspects of his game. That's why he's here in the quarterfinals. So Luamba to serve, Joel to receive. Expect a few long rallies here. Um, expect both players to hit pretty straight, pretty fast. And it'll be a question of who can be the most accurate in these early exchanges. There for the Bimba Warrior. Nice straight from there from Louis. Luan has been working on his forehand technique in the last few months. That's a nice start through love. Got a few juniors watching here, guys that are coached by Joel and Luanda, so they're enjoying the contest. Combination of good hitting, bad luck, and Joel trying a little bit too hard and leads out to a five love lead. Joel gets on the board with his uh, first point, draws the stroke. Saw Louis pick up a couple of good balls there. Very, very irritating guy to play. Gets a lot of balls back. Chucks in the boast. So at this stage, neither player probably totally happy with the way they're playing. I think Luanda will be happy with the score, but probably disappointed with some of his execution. So I'm going around Joel there, not run into him as many would.
good rally developing here. I think Joel would be disappointed he didn't play those drops at the front a little straighter. Great attack from Joel. Louis length not good enough. Fires in the soft kill or straight drop. Rushing himself a bit on that one. It's a quality rally. We see there the pressure Louis puts on his opponents, getting those extra balls back with consummate ease. And the players then force the next one. That's better from Joel. Credit to Luamba for trying to play that shot, but he really regrets it now. Well-constructed point, John. Much straighter lines, much better control of the setting. Game to, to Luanda, 11-6. I think Joel will be happy that he started to find his range at the end of that game. I'd like to see him play a bit straighter. Well, for these two players, a relatively short first game. Not the long rallies that I might have expected. Not quite the hitting quality from either player. Luamba's trying to play a little bit faster. He hasn't quite got the control part of that sorted yet. And I felt that Joel was a little bit slow and off the mark and a little loose with his attacks to the front. So I hope to see Joel play this next game, the whole game, in the same way that he finished that first game. Started to find his range at the end of that game, so hopefully for him he can carry that through in the second game. I want to see him get into Luamba here and really push Luamba. Lovely 
Nice counter from Joel. Good finish. Well, I was frustrated. He had control of that rally and gave it up with a couple of loose shots. Good start for Joel. I'd personally like to see Luamba a bit straighter on those pressure-building backhand volley drops. They're just sitting up a little bit, coming out, giving Joel too many options. Let's find that one. Looking for the soft stroke there, Luamba. Heather smart enough to see through that one. Well, neither player is serving particularly well at the moment, so um, that's a note for the notebook for sure. Joel guilty of playing a shot that he couldn't clear. He's frustrated, he felt that um, he was just getting back to the tee, but that's not good enough at this level. Yeah, nice strong position from Joel. Well, I'm guilty of putting it on his racket, Joel taking full advantage. Good passage of play here for Joel. Setting his targets. A definite case of who blinked first on that one. Nice, nice sparring down the backhand side. Joel resetting a bit here, frustrated with that, trying to do too much. Joel thought of a bit of a scoop and house in there, um, either unmoved. Well, Joel's been gone to school on. Evans cross court short balls. Unfortunately, he puts that one in the ten. Well, I like what Joel's trying to do here, but he's got to cut the arrow rate if he wants to win this game. Very short counter there. So 
six all. Nice shot, Joel. Draw zero. Seeing a bit of niggle in this match, which is um, enjoyable to see that both players have been very, very competitive, even though they train together a lot. The good friends get on well together. It's, um, it's a different matter on court. High quality finish there from Joel. Very patient. Good quality rally. Nice finish. Very satisfying to watch that. Often players attempted to hit that ball hard to the backhand. And he stuck to the game plan and played the straight drop. Very satisfying. Good shot from Louis. Well, I'm just fought his way back into this match. This game, pardon me, and uh, he's trying to fire himself up now as we get to the latter stages. So a couple of good attacks. Good shot, Joel. So a little bit of interference in the middle, but winning shot. A little bit of banter between the players. from the Wamba. Oh, he's going for it. Brings up game ball. Good call to Weenus. Saw the opening and had the confidence to play it. Nice finish, Luamba. Well, Joel will feel he didn't do a lot wrong there. Unfortunately, uh, his, he didn't clear the ball away from Luamba and gave him the chance to play a shot that he couldn't get to. Two love, Luamba.
Gustav and Joel, ball looking a bit soft. Luamba in his comfort zone right now. <clears throat> Joel's fired in a series of good shots and he's soaked up the pressure and then he's fired in the boats to win the point. Luamba backs himself to cover the court within reason and we're seeing that in these points. He's out to a nice lead, 2 love 4 2. and um, quite happy to play the triple. <laughs> Love the shot. Out of court. So a nice rally from Joel, that's what we want to see. He's been in a situation before where he's behind the eight ball against Luamba, and we're really looking for him to put in a good performance now. The result is what, going to be what it's going to be. If he can string together good points, good exchanges, focus on the things that he can control, then he'll get back into the match. He may not win it, but he'll improve as a player. Lovely lob there. So Luamba with a three point cushion, as we uh, say. Expect him to fire the ball in even more now. Joel to reset right now. Um, that's what he's doing, taking the ball away. Great shot from Lander. May not be obvious to everybody, but Luamba does volley the ball a lot and it does put a lot of pressure on his opponents. He played that one, could have asked for a lip. Definite brain fade in that one. So we see again in him motioning with the way that he wanted to play the shot. That's another thing we've been working on. Problem solving between points. So once again, he does the practice shot, what he wanted to do. Let's see if it works.
last finish job. So he's got Lawamba flapping here. If the scores were different or we were deeper into the match, that would be significant, but I think Louis will recover for now. Hold and punch. He's on to that quickly. Plays it straight and tight. Gets the match ball. Please like these videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow Squash Excel on social media. Come to one of the camps at Excel or contact us for remote fitness coaching.